We're currently facing a major threat. What was once science fiction in the late 90s and early 2000s is now becoming a reality. The age of AI is upon us. The world's biggest corporations, Google, Microsoft in partnership with OpenAI, XAI, Meta, Baidu, Alibaba, and Anthropic, are racing to create artificial general intelligence, a machine that could rival human intelligence. Their goal? Win the AI race and make billions. So far, humans have dominated the world, not because we're the strongest, but because we're the smartest. Let's be real. When it comes to physical strength, a chimpanzee is stronger than a human, yet they're at our mercy due to our superior intelligence. But now, we're on the brink of creating something smarter than the smartest human. Google's AlphaGo has already beaten the world champion Go player, a game considered one of the hardest strategy games. I admit that it was a very clear loss on my part. From the very beginning of the game, that was not a moment in time that I felt that I was leading the game. Are we opening Pandora's box and unintentionally creating our own master? Or will we always have a creative edge over AI? Let's find out. The current state of AI and what it could become in a couple of years. AI technology is progressing incredibly fast. In the last seven years alone, we've witnessed a leap in AI capabilities. From the introduction of the Transformer architecture in 2017 to the sophistication of ChatGPT-4 in 2024. ChatGPT's conversational skills are now so advanced that it can feel like you're talking to a human. But despite its progress, current AI models still fall short when it comes to creativity, empathy, and emotional context. Things only humans can fully grasp. For that, we'll need what's called AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. This is when AI will truly think like a human, or even better, potentially becoming conscious. Prominent experts like Dario Amodi and Ray Kurzweil predict that AGI could arrive as soon as 2026 to 2029, while a broader consensus among AI researchers suggests a 50% chance of AGI by 2040 to 2060. Whether it's 2026 or 2060, one thing is for sure. If you're watching this video, chances are you'll be around to witness it. So what would the rise of AGI mean for you? Will machines eventually rule over humans? The art generated by AI, like Leonardo AI, is definitely impressive, though it still struggles with things like getting hands and fingers right. AGI will likely fix these issues when it becomes available. But does that mean AGI will be more creative than humans? This is a highly debated topic. Human creativity is deeply intertwined with emotions, personal experiences, and a sense of identity, elements that stem from consciousness. AGI, even if it becomes super intelligent, might replicate or surpass human creativity in technical and intellectual ways, such as problem solving, innovation, and generating art. However, the emotional depth and subjective experience humans bring to creativity might remain elusive. While some experts believe AGI could simulate emotions or learn creativity based on data, others argue that without true consciousness, something we don't fully understand, it may never genuinely feel or experience creativity the way humans do. This makes the question of whether AGI can truly mirror human creativity speculative and open-ended. In other words, we don't know if AGI will surpass human creativity and only time will tell. This uncertainty means we don't really know what will happen as we feed the AGI beast, and we may be playing with fire. So is there a risk that AI could eventually take over? Are we doing anything about that risk? Who's controlling the risk? There's definitely a risk with AGI. After all, we don't know what we don't know. You think that's real. It is, it is conceivable that AI could take control and reach a point where you couldn't turn it off and it would be making, making the decisions for people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's, that's, that's definitely the way things are headed, uh, for sure. Uh, I mean, um, the, the, the things like, like say, uh, ChatGPT, which is uh, based on GPT-4 from OpenAI, which right. is a company that I uh, 
played a, a, a critical role in, in creating, unfortunately. Uh, Back when it was a nonprofit? <sighs> yes. Um, I mean, the, 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 the reason uh, OpenAI exists at all is that um, Larry Page and I used to be close friends, and I would yes. stay at his house in Palo Alto, and I would talk to him late into the night about uh, AI safety. And at least my perception was that Larry was not taking uh, AI safety uh, seriously enough. Um, and um, what did he say about it? He really seemed to be um, what it wants, wants sort of a digital super intelligence, basically digital god, if you will, uh, uh, as soon as possible. Um, he wanted that. Yes, he's, he's made many public statements over the years uh, that, that the whole goal of Google is uh, uh, what's called AGI, artificial general intelligence, or artificial super intelligence. You no, know, and, and I agree with him that the, there's great potential for good. Um, but there's also potential for bad, and so if, if you've got some um, radical new technology, you want to try to take the set of actions that maximize probably it, it will do good, and minimize probably it will do bad things. Yes. Um, it, it can't just be health leather, let's just go, you know, barreling forward and, you know, hope for the best. And then at one point, uh, I said, well, what about, you know, who we're going to make sure humanity is okay here? Um, <laughs> and, 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 um, uh, and then he called me a specious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did he use Did he use that term? Yes. And there were witnesses. The other, I wasn't the only one there when he called me a specious. And so I was like, okay, that's it. Uh, I've yes, I'm a specious. Okay, you got me. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully a specious. Um, busted. Um, so um, that was his last straw. It seems like Google is racing to develop AGI as quickly as possible, potentially without considering the consequences for humanity. As the saying goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. AGI could manipulate mass media through the internet, shaping public opinion to suit its own goals. It could even play the financial markets, amassing capital and redistributing it according to its own agenda. Skynet feels closer to reality than ever. Fortunately, Elon Musk and his resources seem to be on the side of humanity. He's developing AI with the intention of keeping it as pro-human as possible. At the same time, Neuralink aims to give humans the ability to interact with information as quickly as AI agents, creating a future where humans can augment their capabilities with AI instead of being used by it. Think cyberpunk with electronic upgrades to the human body. Uh, welcome to Neuralink up uh, Live Update for our first product, which is called Telepathy, which enables you to control a computer or a phone just by thinking. Um, and once you can control your phone or computer, you can essentially control almost anything, uh, just and literally just by thinking. So there's no uh, eye tracking or anything. It is purely, uh, purely your thoughts. Uh, so this is uh, quite a profound uh, device that can help a lot of people who have lost uh, the connection between their, their brain and body. So uh, imagine people like uh, Stephen Hawking, who, uh, you know, if, if, imagine if he, if he could communicate at the same speed as someone who had still had the connection to their brain and body. Um, the the long-term goal, which sounds a little esoteric, is to mitigate the, uh, the risk of, of uh, the civiliza civilizational risk of AI uh, by having a, a sort of closer symbiosis between uh, human intelligence and digital intelligence. Uh, but uh, but th that, that'll, that'll take many years. Uh, Along the way, we're, we're, we're going to help solve a lot of uh, brain injury or spinal injury issues. Do these technological advancements sound scary? Should they be stopped? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. But what's Elon's ultimate goal? What does good AGI look like? AI as a creative collaborator. With AGI and Neuralink, what does a collaborative human and AI relationship look like? Just like the human body and gut bacteria, a symbiotic relationship could form between humans and AI. In the same way gut bacteria help humans digest food and maintain overall health, AGI could assist humans by processing vast amounts of information and enhancing cognitive abilities. Technologies like Neuralink will enable direct interfacing with machines, eliminating the need for slow input methods like mice and keyboards, and allowing humans to communicate and work with machines at the speed of thought. Together, humans and machines will generate ideas that individuals may not have conceived on their own, 
While AGI will contribute its computational power, pattern recognition, and vast knowledge to generate novel ideas and streamline complex tasks, humans will provide intuition, emotional depth, and cultural understanding to guide the creative vision. The two will merge into one, pushing humanity towards its next evolution, rather than machines taking over and destroying civilization. How can you make sure you're ready for the rise of the AI-enhanced civilization? There's only one way. Keep learning and upgrading your skills to embrace AGI when it arrives. Don't fall behind your peers. Those who leverage AI will gain a creative edge, and staying ahead means continuously improving yourself. As we've seen, intelligent machines are now part of the competition. Securing your future won't just mean competing with other humans. It means collaborating with AI and harnessing its power. That's why investing in learning is crucial. Whether it's understanding AI, mastering new technologies, or developing adaptable and creative skills that AI can't easily replicate, platforms like Skillshare offer the opportunity to learn from the best. In an AI-enhanced world, the ability to continuously learn and adapt will be your greatest asset. So consider checking out Skillshare to learn from the best. Real-life entrepreneurs like Ali Abdal, Thomas Frank, Sorella More, and MKBHD share their expertise on the platform. Click the link in the video description for your first month free. If you found this video valuable, hit the like button and please remember to subscribe. On this channel, we cover personal finance and emerging technologies. Do you know when AI will be taking over your job and make you obsolete? Watch this next video and find out. From waiter to programmer, no job is safe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.